vacation is really hard i know i'm gonna give you like the step by step how you're gonna lose weight how you're gonna lose the belly fat uh at home okay so first thing let's talk about workout workout at home is not easy so sometimes you wait you wake up you you are in the same place you're at home with your children with your husband with your wife so sometimes you have zero motivation to do your workout so I'm gonna give you the tips that I do as well. I always do that because if I don't do that, my motivation is never the same. For, for, for you to do a great strategy to associate exercise, pain, you are suffering uh, and you are getting tired, your body, your brain hates that. Your brain hates because it's uncomfortable. Uh, so you need the best strategy is you need to associate the workout with something that you like. So once you start associating exercise, workout at home, uh, in your room with something that you enjoy or you can do the, uh, the workout combined with something that you enjoy or you can combine that and you can do this after. Why? You need to know why. What's the reason for that? There is a scientific reason for that. Our brain always associates something with something good or bad. So if you, if you had a bad experience training a uh, long time ago, doing some workout, doing any challenge or doing whatever, and you had a bad experience training. For example, you did your workout, but you didn't see results. For, for example, it means that you had a bad experience. In your subconscious mind, you will not like exercise. When you think about workout at home, you will not like. So that's why you need to compensate that and associate workout with some, something that you like. For example, you can make a list of songs that you love, songs that you really, you feel like pumped when you're listening to some uh, uh, favorite, your favorite uh, songs, you really enjoy and then you, you tend to even feel more excited. So that's one example that you can relate to something that you like, for example, your, 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 your favorite music with exercise. That's one example. Another example, you can associate th something good with your workout. For example, after you finish your workout, you can uh, read a book that you like even for 10 minutes, for 20 minutes. You could even associate with some food as well, eating some uh, food that you like after your workout. Of course, healthy, right? Most of the time. You can take a, a hot shower, a warm a shower with, for you to feel relaxed, or you can read a book. You can do after, you can do before your workout, but that's gonna be important for your brain to understand that workout is good as well, okay? It's gonna be easier you keep the consistency. That's one, number one thing, okay. Second thing about the workout, to do at home to lose your belly fat. I have so many people that come to me and say, Tiago, I, I'm training, I want to lose my belly fat, and I want, and because of that, I want to work out my abs. Because I want to lose my belly fat, I want to do sit-ups, I want to do plank, I want to go really hard on my abs. I, I don't mind about any part of my body. I, I just want my belly. My belly is, is getting bigger. In this quarantine, I gain much more. My, my belly is so big and I want just belly. I want to lose my belly. And because of that, I'm, I want to do exercise for my core, for my belly. So that's a big mistake because nowadays, you need to know that if you want to uh, lose weight at home, train at home, you need to, the more muscles you activate at the same time, doing a workout, the better for you to lose your belly fat. Not just belly fat, because you don't lose, you never lose just in one part, specific area in your body. Each person will be different. You can lose more fat in your arms, faster than your belly. Some people in their bellies, faster than their legs. So it depends. But for you to lose fat easier and faster, the more muscles you activate in one single workout, the better. So if you keep trying to, for example, uh, do just abs, just exercise for abs because you think that you're going to lose more fat because of that. You're going to feel frustrated. Always make sure that you are activating as many muscles as possible while you, you are training. Okay? Example, you do body, uh, uh, lower body, you do upper body. Try to do your workouts as well in the morning. So that's another tip. Never, 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 please, guys, never do workouts after, never plan your workout after your jo job. When you finish, when you are super stressed, you are stressed out because you are working for eight hours, and then you plan to do your workout after that, that's going to be super easy, you give up. You find excuses to yourself to say, no, I'm really tired, today was a busy day, I'm going to do my workout tomorrow. And what's going to happen? You lose that consistency. After two or three months, you boom, just give up. Why? Because you are not keeping the consistency. Start your morning right. 
Because always when you start your morning right, you're going to influence your whole day, included your workout. And then you don't have excuses anymore. I always, always, always try to work out in the morning. Because if something happened during the day, I will find excuse to myself to just, okay, no, I'm tired. I'm, I have so many things to do. I'm going to skip today my workout. So don't do that. If you are going to work out in the morning, try as much as you can, okay? To keep that a consistency and to influence your whole day. When you are training at home, it's totally possible you build muscles. And why is that? Why it's, it's important you build muscles in your body to lose fat and keep it off? Why? Because when you build more muscles, you speed up your metabolism and even why is, is, that, that, is that important? Because, because it becomes easier for you to keep your weight off uh, while you are watching your TV, while you are on the sofa, watching anything, you're going to keep burning fat. You're going to keep burning calories, even sleeping. Just because of what? Just because you, you, you have more muscle mass in your body and you can build muscles doing body weight. You can do that. But the more muscles in your body, the easier to keep burning fat even when you are just sleeping, even when you are on the sofa doing nothing. So that's why it's a great strategy, okay? Remember that. So work out. 